addressing your comments, criticisms, compliments, questions. What energy you bring here, I will return to you with the maintenance of rule one, rule equal, the balance of the honor and the grace, and the position of peace and neutrality. Keep in mind, no one is twisting your arm to be here, so keep that in mind. If you are going to make claims or if you are choosing to not read the terms and conditions of the comments field, well, then you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Now, I don't ever take anything personally here. I recommend that you do the same. What I'm saying in this comments video is a critique based upon using the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, i.e. quantum grammar, the wonderful technology brought to the public in 1988 by the late Colin David Ivan Colin Miller. Keep that in mind. Everything I say is pretty much through that lens. So with that in mind, let's get to it. Hey, yo, everybody. How y'all doing? Welcome back to another Clarity and Closure on the Viewer's Comments video. First comment comes from Leonardo Ledesma 9052, and they say, how to syntax any sentence and add up the syllables to know if the contract is positive or negative, please and thank you. Now, a personal corn of mine are people that say please and thank you because they're presuming and assuming that you're going to do what they ask. So they say thank you as if that's going to encourage you uh, to do what they're asking of you. Which, of course, I don't see any question here. I don't see a question mark. They're not really asking a question. They're using very, very poor, plain, simple English to convey this. And so my first instinct to someone who says please and thank you is this. <laughs> okay. But to perform with the honor and grace, uh, I offered them my syntax playlist that they could go study rather than coming at them with the sign language. Because this person obviously knows less than zero about correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. And they're not a member, so I know they're not going to see this video unless they become a member. So again, as I said to you, the members here, I'm going to be a little bit more personable and do things that I normally do and say things that I normally wouldn't do in the public because this is confidential to the members. So I hope you appreciate it and enjoy the candor. Another one from Leonardo and they say, what a shame they disabled the Spanish subtitles. That's why they gave them the thumbs down. That's not done. Limited by language. And I think my cooliana to this one was, if that's the reason why you gave my video a thumbs down, we're never going to be friends. <laughs> Again, just being kind of cheeky. I mean, that is a goofy reason to give a thumbs down. Although I personally, it doesn't break my heart for you to give my video a thumbs down. Because whether you give it a thumbs down or a thumbs up, it's a reaction. It's feedback. It feeds into the algorithm, and it helps me either way, whether it's thumbs up or thumbs down, to the best of my knowledge. So it doesn't matter to me. It's sort of like, you know, any publicity is good publicity. It doesn't matter what it is. Uh, so I don't know anything about what they're talking about, however, though. You know, I don't know if YouTube disabled the Spanish subtitles. I never really delved into that, although I feel like I, I ought to. I ought to figure out how to get Spanish subtitles on there barring me going in and manually doing it if YouTube would would uh, automatically do that I'd certainly have that option on on my channel because I know I have a lot of Spanish speaking students out there meaning students of the channel not students my personal students although I do have a handful of Spanish speaking students one of which is exceptional and one of which 
has a group from my understanding that are actually that are actually translating my videos into Spanish. So thumbs up to them. Next comment comes from Chad Wynn 7170 and they say, so when the police pulls you over, <laughs> do you tell them you are driving or traveling and I bet you hand them your goofy looking ID cards that with that stamp on top, LOL. And then my coolie on it to that was the police don't pull me over, quote unquote, LOL. This individual was just a troll. They were putting similar comments to this to every single video that I was publishing, probably about five or six in a row, the same type of comment, and they would always end it with LOL as if that excuses the diarrhea that they're spewing in my comments field. So I, I had to block them. But it's pretty funny. They're just here to, that someone would invest that type of energy on a spam type basis is amazing to me. What must their life be like? Next comment comes from Joshua Hardaway, which that name rings a bell in my head. I have to think that they've been on this channel for a while because the name looks familiar. The username looks familiar. The nom de guerre looks familiar. For the claimant's knowledge is <clears throat> Joshua. Joshua, you need two points with which to draw a straight line. An incorrect sentence structure, that equates to for the facts, of the facts. And then you draw your straight line, then you put your verb in. You need two position loadial fact phrases before you get to the verb, on the port side of the verb. You have one. So that voids the mathematical interface right off the bat. Is with the void of the performance with the payment of the member's channel missing a hyphen in member's channel? That throws the whole thing into adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun. And there is no full stop at the end. And you're preceding the authority with a concern, which is incorrect positional sequencing. So this is a perfect example of someone who I said a couple minutes ago, the name looks familiar. I know they've been on this channel for at least a year or two, maybe more. And you can see that their knowledge level, I can see that their knowledge level has not really gone anywhere. If they'd have been taking classes with me back when they first started watching the channel, this type of quantum gobbledygook would not be in their repertoire. They'd be able to actually do a correct sentence structure with no mistakes in it and correct concatenation and correct punctuation and all that. But I digress, you know, it's uh, everybody's on their own learning curve. It's their choice. Next comment comes from Harold Nokumar and they say, it's a lonely place to be when your most basic knowledge supersedes their pinnacle of the same, LOL. Love your comment. Hmm, I, I don't, okay, I don't remember the context of this, uh, I suppose Harold is speaking for themselves when they feel that their most basic knowledge supersedes their pinnacle of the same, whoever their means. I don't know, but Harold seems to think that his basic knowledge supersedes someone else's uh, pinnacle of knowledge, which is a very non-humility based statement, which I would never think. I, I don't think along those lines. Harold, in my psychology, I try to bring rule one rule equal to everything I do. You will never ever see me insulting someone or ad hominiming someone or even low key doing it, implying that someone is stupid. Now I can say that someone's ignorant because I have the knowledge base in correct sentence structure to say you're ignorant of correct sentence structure, which Harold, you are ignorant of correct sentence structure because you don't have closure on it. That's not an insult. That's me as a tutor evaluating you as a student, which I mean, you're not a student as of yet, as far as workshops and things go, but you are a student of this channel. But I would never call you stupid. I would never hope that I would never make you feel that way because that is not conducive to knowledge cultivation at all. It doesn't matter who you are. 
um, to basically to do something like that is, is, is I think the most, the lowest hanging fruit and, uh, and if it's done maliciously, a very vile thing to do. So I, I don't really participate with that type of stuff. Ah, and we have a member for the claimant. Thank you for your membership. I know for sure they're going to be watching this video. And they say, I do not know the context of the comment. However, in my experience, the ongoing journey of mastering oneself takes various disciplines. One such discipline is detachment from emotional and egocentric response. Now, I would love to juxtapose that with something I remember the late Colin David Ivan Wynn Colin Miller saying that whenever, like in one of his seminars, he, and this is paraphrase, please do not quote me, folks. This is from my memory, my memory membering. I remember David talking about when, when you feel emotional, when you get emotional about something, something is triggering you or affecting you in such a way, do a math problem. Because one side of your brain is controlled by emotions or, or influenced by emotions, and the other side by logic. So if the one side is starting to take over everything else, then you got to try and activate, consciously activate the other side. So you do a math problem. And that sort of balances it out and your sadness or whatever. This is what David said. Your sadness will dissipate or your anger will dissipate. Um, whether that's true or not, I've never really tried that because I don't, I'm a pretty even keel type of individual. If I get angry, it's like someone's throwing a hot bucket of water on me. It hits me, I feel it, and then it goes away. Uh, it doesn't really influence my moment-to-moment -moment choices. It doesn't really inform that in any way. Um, most times I try really hard not to. So that's what's great about correct sentence structure, communication, parse syntax, grammar is it is a mathematical interface on grammar and it does lessen the impact of emotional type of reactions. However, it is not good in totality to totally cut off your emotions. Those emotions still have to be there so that things like empathy and kindness can be exercised in your document, contract, postal vessel, court venues. You know, utilizing those three principles, the balance of the honor and grace, the maintenance of the rule, one rule equal, and the position of peace and neutrality. So, one of the reasons you are a good tutor, in my eyes, is your ability to see the bigger picture, which in part is due to how much space you have invested meticulously in order to cover all bases, gaining closure on correct sentence structure. You give students and viewers the opportunity to reflect on how they reach a conclusion. I would assume that an individual who asks you to remove the comment has become unhappy with their contribution, as after the individual receives a public response from yourself, that individual has their ego or emotion damaged. Fair enough. The fact is we learn and grow with a humble approach. Emotions serve as a hindrance, even if those emotions stem from the problems we have faced. Thanks, Jason. Wish you and yours all the best. Thumbs up uh, for the claimant. I appreciate that. And that is pretty much, uh, I agree with what you say there, spot on. Um, as far as the specific situation that you're referencing here, which happened to me personally, or not happened to me, that I participated with, that I was a participant with, when you say something like it happened to me, it's almost like you've taken accountability away from yourself. And it's another one of those plain English gobbledygook things. So I would say it's a situation that I chose to participate with that... Um, you know, I had to stop and correct myself in order to handle the situation with correctness for the safety of my own vessel construct and break bulk with that individual. Um, so, yeah. Great comment. Thank you. Next comment comes from Frank from Philly. Where at in Philly are you from, Frank? I spent a little bit of time in Philly back in the 90s. Um, I want to say it was sort of the south west side. 
and maybe Kensington. But that was a long time ago. It's not the Kensington that you see today. Was the comment about traveling or driving when a cop pulls you over, LOL? Would someone invest the time to leave a comment? No, no, it was not. It was not about that. It was actually about the birth certificate. It was uh, sort of a common law, solve sit type of individual who knew nothing about correct sentence structure, started talking about the birth certificate or claiming the birth certificate or things like that. And uh, yeah, it had nothing to do with that. Next comment comes from Steve Harvey. They say, it's really quite simple. Wow. I wonder if they use talk to text because I'm looking at the multiple, numerous, countless misspellings, bad punctuation. And again, folks, I have said this ad nauseum. If you're going to take the time and you think it's important to leave a comment on my page, please check your spelling and punctuation, even if you're using plain, simple English. If it's worth it to you to leave a comment, isn't it worth it to communicate to the 100% of your knowledge capacity instead of half-assing it like this? Because, I mean, if this is 100% of this person's capacity to communicate and know how to spell and things like that, they really got no business being here. They got to get their ducks in a row before they can start learning correct sentence structure. But I digress. Let's get into the comment. Because natural order is simple. So everything is simple to Steve Harvey. Language speaking, writing is dis disruptive. In sense, meaning creating a communicative way to effect the aether protobation field modality. It's truly simple. <coughs> As natural order is simple, reading witting witting is comprehensive meaning to different sides to the torus field. Inverse not opposing. Comprehensively to reach understanding is a piont of rest. Piont source. This metaphysics, the universal law, natural order, magnetism example. I can curse you. You're a rat bee, ignorant slaver. It's just an example, descriptor, a disrupting nature to protobation, field modalities sent through the aether. So interpretation of a sense of this is simple life evil inverse indescriptive but both words oh okay so this individual is into playing word games and phonetics and things like that uh, so i'm not even really gonna touch on this other than this is what i said to them i said yet you exhibit no knowledge of correct sentence structure closure despite your claims of the simplicity of things because they do mean things being simple multiple times Interesting juxtaposition between what you claim and the spelling grammar of your comments. So I might edit this into a short and respond to give Kuliana to Steve Harvey, Harvey to sort of poke them a little bit and see what they have to say about it. And the final comment comes from TikTok from Justin on time. And they say courts are fraudulent and not for the people. And then I say, name the fraud specifically, please. And then they say, you can't see? Wow, you really need to research God's laws. Nothing else matters. All other laws are void. My eyes almost rolled out of the back of my head across the back of my office here. I gave a video, Kuliana, to Justin on TikTok which has almost 300 views by now, that this particular video response that I gave. What I was looking for, and this is, again, you know, most people, most people, especially TikTokers, don't pay any attention to where they are, the venue they're in, the vessel they're a guest of. And I made it clear to Justin that he was a guest, 
and I was just trying to see if he knew where he was because he's on a correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, vessel. And if he would have known that, and if he had even just a smidgen of quantum grammar knowledge, then he could have answered my question, or he could have responded to my challenge to name the fraud specifically by saying, well, it's grammar fraud, quite obviously. It's modification, adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble. That was the answer I was looking for. But no, he had to go into God and all that bullshit. So, thanks for your entertainment, Justin. I hope you pay attention to the video I posted in Kuleana to you, and hopefully it sparks something in your brain that gets you curious about studying this wonderful grammar technology. If you would like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, I offer several choices. The first one, and the easiest one, is to study the almost 900 free public videos on this YouTube channel that you're watching right now. The second option, if you want to see new content, is to click the Join button on my main YouTube page or under any video that you're watching. Click the Join button and you will see two tiers of membership. If you choose the second tier, the Loyalist Contributor tier, and you join that for a monthly support donation, you'll get new content, fresh content, exclusive content not available to the public every month. But keep in mind, there's already almost 900 videos here free to the public to study. And the third option is to contact me at the email address at the bottom of your screen and this is for the serious students only, and apply for a correct grammar workshop. But please include your correct name when contacting me, and I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation, and you and I will have a conversation. You can ask me whatever you want. I'll answer your questions. I'll do the same with you. I'll ask you questions, and we'll see if indeed you are really serious or not. Thank you.